Hi everyone, Ryan here once again from Everbot South Africa. This is video four and in today's video we're actually going to show you how to print images on some beverages. I'm going to just show you the basic steps before we do the actual print. So number one is the placement of the cup. If you're using this type of a cup with an ear, make sure you place it with the ear of the cup to the right. We want the image to be shown to the customer as they drink it and most people obviously are right-handed <laughs> okay so placement of the cup is very very important once you place the cup all we need to then do is simply select our image for printing and click make that's the basic steps of printing an image now we're going to look a bit more in depth of how we set up for print you may find with initial setup that your print is not aligning with your cup even though your cup is in the center of your tray. In order to fix this, go to your settings, press center and align it by using any of the arrows to move the print head slightly to adjust to where your cup is placed on the tray. Once you're finished, click anywhere on the outside and save the settings and go back. You'll see that we have the option of small medium or large why is that important well every establishment uses different size cups or vessels for printing images on you may want to print on a cappuccino mug you may want to print on a cocktail glass or a beer mug you can preset these settings simply by long pressing the desired size once you've long pressed you'll have the option to physically input the size in millimeters and then save the setting the other way is to select one of the sizes, for example, medium or large, and to simply use the slider to change the size of your image once you know what the size of the print needs to be. So what you want to do at your establishment is you want to take the different types of cups and the glasses that you're going to use for your prints and capture the sizes into your tablet. All you then need to do is select the size of the cup and press print, simple as that. So we're going to go ahead and actually print an image on our cappuccino. We've preloaded a logo for the establishment we're using today into our tablet. We select the image, select the size which we've already set and press make. It should take roughly 20 seconds to print the image depending on what the image is. Photos tend to take a bit longer because of the amount of detail in a photograph versus a logo for example. There is a laser sensor inside the machine and this reads the height of the cup. So you do not ever need to worry about the height of the cup or using different heights. The only time you need to be concerned about this is if you're using a glass vessel such as a cocktail glass or a beer glass. When you're using glass you need to make sure you fill the liquid to the rim of the glass for the laser to pick it up as the laser does not pick up clear glass. And there we have it. Quick as that, we have printed a logo on our cappuccino. Isn't that amazing? If you'd like to print on a baked food item such as a biscuit or macaron or even a cupcake, you may need to elevate it above the tray to at least a height of 5 centimeters. You may use a cappuccino mug or some kind of a cup to place the item on top in order for it to print. One last tip I want to leave you with when you're setting up your image to print is to run some test prints. You can use a napkin over your cup or vessel to run some test prints. That way you'll get the measurement correct for the size cup and you won't waste any of your beverages. Only use a serviette. Why don't you send us some of your crazy surfaces you managed to print on. We've printed on some pretty crazy things I'll tell you. So share with us what you find success in printing on and we'll share our ideas with you and have some fun that way. Thanks for watching today's video. Our next video will be about maintenance and some safety tips on the Everbot coffee printer. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.